Good Sunday evening. I'm Jasmine Durham. Thanks for joining us. A man is behind bars tonight after police say he abducted his one-year-old child just before 8 this morning. The manhunt led to an hours-long standoff in southwest Fort Wayne. WFFT's Cody Butler was there. He joins us live now. Cody, what can you tell us? Jasmine, please say 21 year old Bryant Shelton was armed with a gun when he broke into an apartment here at Wildwood Place, took his one year old and drove off. Officers set up a perimeter and ultimately located the suspect's vehicle in the area in which it was unoccupied. The officers extended that perimeter. Fort Wayne police says that's when they brought in the SWAT team. Well, we were a little scared because you don't know these days what's going to be happening. We look out for each other, so when something happens, it is a little bit alarming. Police say Shelton was found in a bush behind one of these homes on South Washington Road. But I think what's important here is that somebody saw something wrong. Uh, they called law enforcement officers and the police were out here very, very quickly. Fifth District Councilman Jeff Paddock lives down the street from where Bryant was taken into custody. And there's never been an, any kind of an incident like this at all. The crime rate is very, very low. It's a close-knit neighborhood. Folks know each other. We get together a lot. Police say the baby was found unharmed inside a home on Taylor Street. Many people living in the Wildwood neighborhood was watching police through their window. I was in the backyard with a neighbor, and we saw all these police cars running around. There were several. I just kind of went inside, called my grandkids, and said, lock your doors. Paddock says this is usually a quiet neighborhood and it will stay that way. So it is one of those things that's probably a fluke. It happened once. It'll probably never happen again. Shelton is currently locked up in the Allen County Jail on two felony charges. Meanwhile, the baby was taken to a hospital for a welfare check. However, police say it appears that the baby was okay. Reporting live at Fort Wayne tonight, Cody Butler, WFFT Local News for Set 10.